So today we're doing some trim work to a ceiling in here in this house. We've actually done some work at this house before and a room that we trimmed out has actually come together really nicely. I'll show you that. So here's a room that we trimmed out. Uh, we did the paneling up the wall and the coffered ceiling. You probably remember the video on that one and pretty much put that panel molding all over the walls in here. Came out really nice. This is a nice study. And these cabinets though, we did not build or install because obviously we don't do that. But everything that came together with this room, as far as the trim and the cabinetry, it just looks absolutely amazing. I really like being in here. Pretty cool stuff. We'll end up moving that thing probably over here because as it stands right here, it's going to be right in the way of our trim, which we could work around it, but it's probably better to just move it. Okay, so one thing you might notice if you look at this, the spacing right here is wider here and here because this light isn't dead center in this room. These lines are, all these lines are, and we're gonna leave it as it is because there's not even gonna be boards intersecting into this. We just snapped these lines so we could get a, a view of it. But with the design, you're, you'll see in a minute when I chalk this out, there's nothing gonna be around here. So it's not gonna be like noticeable, you'll see. You can kind of see the big picture coming together. These lines on the inside, so all those intersecting lines that kind of make that cross shape, those will not be there. That will not be wood. It'll just be a big uh, rectangle there. Now I need to move that over into that panel over there so it doesn't have any obstructions in its way because if we left it here, you can see this board runs through it and then I'd have to like build a border around it and it would get real tight right here. So that's why we're moving that. Quick change of plans here. We actually extended the sides. We wanted it to be equal. So what you see here is now the same distance that you see here. Okay, I guess, how are we gonna do this? Let's see. Okay. We have this in now pocket screwed all together. We hadn't shot it in all the joist locations yet, but we shot it in areas where it's not gonna fall. Like you can see it's sagging down like right here. So we still gotta shoot it there. But another pocket screwed accent ceiling goes up. And once again, I, I'm not sure if I recommend doing it that way because it is a pain but it does make for some nice joints. And we used a little makeshift dead man to kind of hold this thing up. And that was key to getting this thing right where we wanted it. So next step though, is gonna be moving this vent over. That's gonna be fun. Okay. Okay, so we gotta go right down there through that hole and that'll take us to that room. About a foot to your left. Yeah, right there. There's that one and then there's another one probably a foot and a half down. No, -uh, it's more to the left. That's just like a sheathing. Right here, yeah. Okay. 
So I'm actually going to uh, mount that in between those joists there first, and then I'll make sure I know exactly where it's gonna be, and then I'll come back up here, tie this up, and just nail it off about right here. I just need to make sure that it has like a natural flow and not like a kink in it where it's gonna restrict the uh, airflow. So this is good to go now. You can see there's a big gap right here. That's not gonna be there when we wrap this with our tempered hardboard. We're gonna cut out a hole. It'll be closer to the size of the actual opening of the vent. This was just cut wider, obviously, so I can get the, the mounting system up in there and get that screwed in. So we'll go back up in the attic, uh, straighten that duct out so it has a, a good flow, and this part of the job is done. And in case you're wondering, how tall I am. This is actually regulation height right here. I know you guys probably will never meet me in real life, but I'm, I'm pretty tall. All right, so there you have it. We have all of our tempered hardboard in, eliminating the texture. We just had it cut out for the vent that we moved and then it cut out for the fixture. And now we can go ahead and wrap this room with the crown molding. That'll eliminate the uh, gap right here that you see between the one by eight and the wall. And then we need to trim out the inside. So we're pretty much rounding the corner on this install. So John is inside. He's prepping the crown that we just installed and I've got my jig set up over here to cut these panel moldings. Now I'm not actually using a typical panel molding. I'm gonna be using the picture molding. If you remember a couple videos ago when I did the big feature wall in my house, I used this instead of panel molding. I'll show you what it is. And if you didn't see that video, I highly recommend you go back and watch it because I show exactly how I cut it, how it works and everything if you're interested. And here's a close up look of that picture molding so you guys can see the profile. The cut hub has this ruler in here, this machined ruler. I personally don't see myself using that a whole lot. I do see myself using this a whole lot, the stop block. What I can do and what I have done and experimented with, I can take my piece and push it and it'll push that buttery stop block along until I get it to the point where I want to cut. So I'll line up my blade here. So I just cut right to my, my line there and then lock it down. And now I can finish the cut. All right, so I just checked that piece and the dry fit was good. So now I just need to make four more of them. And that is one of the advantages of doing the whole pocket screwed assembly if you can get away with it on things like this is that you can make everything exact so when you cut your parts like this you just have four different sections but they're all the same measurement so you just take one measurement and you make that piece four times 
So one thing to note on the cut hub, I've got this question when I unboxed it and I didn't know the answer, but now I do. These material supports or work tables, whatever you want to call them, you can't use them in conjunction with the stop block. So that's why I took it off and put it on the other side. But it's still convenient, holds my material. And I'm not complaining about it, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. Some people were asking some questions about it. And as I use this thing, I'll try to answer those questions. But basically, I'm going to be cutting up these pieces for the next 45 minutes or so. I'll get them all dry fit, and then we'll glue them with the CA glue, assemble them, and then install them in one piece. And I'll catch back up with you guys when it's time to assemble them. All right, so we chose to assemble these things right here on the garage floor because it was nice and in the shade. And John is CA gluing some of the parts together. And I'm going to go ahead and glue these right here together. Anytime we can get away with these one piece assemblies using the CA glue or wood glue or brad nails or whatever, we could like pre assemble something. We're always going to do it because stuff that's pre assembled is always going to be a better fit than stuff that you put piece by piece, at least for the way that I work. It seems that way for me. So there you have it. Nice clean CA glued joint together. And that's the kind of joints we're going to get with this whole assembly right here. John is already starting to prep and we're going to get that going, but I just wanted to show you guys this detail right here. It looks pretty slick. So you got that nice bead right there and then it goes into another 45 right here. I just thought that looked pretty sweet up close, but yeah, we're going to keep moving right along with this and start prepping. Ooh, it's flaking. Flaking off like crazy over there. Very, very happy with this one. Super unique design. And I think we executed it in a great way. Uh, once again, this is the first time ever for us to do a layout like this on a accent ceiling or paneled ceiling, whatever you want to call it. But it adds a ton of class and character to this otherwise dull dining room. So great choice. This whole area over here where you see this skim coat on the walls, this will be a really nice wallpaper. And I think with the two, the wallpaper and the ceiling, it's just going to make it pop that much more. All right, let's see what we came up with. <whistles> Once again, the whistle of approval. This one came out really good. The lighting in here is obviously non-existent because there's no light. But I think you can pretty much get the big picture. Came out really nice, really happy with the install. Proportions are correct and uh, it's classy. That's all I can ask for. So here's one view I was looking forward to getting and that is gonna be looking at this ceiling and hopefully my camera can pick it up. But looking at that ceiling too, let me turn the light on in there. Yeah, that looks slick. So that's the study that I showed you earlier. And then over here, 
we've got another nice ceiling design. Pretty cool to see those side by side. Especially once we get some light over here in the dining room. This is going to look really nice. It's just hard to see it now with the sun setting now and not having any light. All right, so that's going to do it for this project. Let me know if you guys have any questions in the comments down below. This thing went really smooth. It was a pretty simple construction, pretty simple install. The hardest part about these kind of project is figuring out math and how everything is going to lay out. That takes a big chunk of time when you're doing these things. I want to emphasize once again the importance of just pre-assembling things if you can get away with it. Like you saw us pocket hole that whole uh, one by assembly and then we CA glued the trim pieces. I mean, we saved ourselves a ton of headache. We gave them a better quality product than if we fit it piece by piece, at least in my experience. And um, yeah, it was, it was a clean install. Sprayed it with Sherwin-Williams Solo Eggshell. I would like to show you guys some more up close, but as you can see, the, uh, the evening has come upon us and there's just no natural light going in there. But once she gets some pictures to me with the wallpaper and all the furniture in there, I'll throw one up here on the community tab here on YouTube. And it sounds like they're having a lot more fun over there than we are. So we're gonna end it here and uh, go jump on the trampoline with them, I guess. So we'll see you guys next time. Take care. <laughs>